Warriorines and Warriorinas, que lo que mi gente, my people. Today is Thursday. You know what that means. Top three Thursdays. In this video, I'm going to cover the soft skills that you need to succeed and perform better and to just improve as a techie, technician, customer service, or just a person in general. It still applies in life. All right, so let's get to it. Soft skill number one. Listen, comprende, oyeme. Very important. Warriorines, warriorinas. This is very important for you to, to succeed in your careers and just in life in general. It's very important that you listen, okay? When you're going to a customer and the customer is coming to you with a problem, it's very important that you listen to the entire thing that they're telling you, the entire words that are coming out of their mouth. You have to focus. I know how it can be. You had a long day. Don't really want to listen to people telling you what the problem is. You just want to jump into the problem and call it a day. But there's a problem with that. Now you may have been doing what you've been doing for however long you've been doing it. But sometimes if you don't listen to what the person is telling you and the issue that they're having, you might miss a key detail that could save you sometimes hours of troubleshooting. So it's very important that you listen very 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 closely to what people are telling you just like mr hair right here the little bunny all right you need to have your ears perked up and just receive the information and it's very important that when you talk to people and you're listening to them you also regurgitate back what they said to you so for an example let's say i am a customer and i say hey uh, I don't know what's going on, but my computer is making these weird beeping noises and is not coming on, right? All right, let's say you're the technician. You heard what I said, but did you hear what I said, right? It's making these weird beeping noises. Now, if you're like most technicians, right? You would take that and say, all right, and then just get to work. But a good technician that listens will be a detective. Really, what kind of beeps are you hearing? Are you hearing one beep, two beep, three beeps, and so on, right? Now you're diving deeper into the problem with the customer in front of you. And at the same time, you're also letting that customer know that you heard what they said. And now you're working with them to figure out, just to narrow down uh, what the problem could possibly be. All right. That's a small example. So it's very important that you listen to what people have to say when they're explaining what their issue is that they're having. Because a lot of times, I've seen plenty of technicians out there that they just don't listen to what the customer or the person has to say. You have to listen, and I promise you that's gonna save you money, and it's gonna save you time, but most importantly, it's gonna save you from getting a headache, all right? You know what it's like, we know what it's like as techies to deal with non-tech individuals, and that's okay because they don't need to be what we are but it's your job as a technician to not only be great at the job that you do when it comes to hardware and the software and the troubleshooting but you also have to be good at the human aspect of it which is listening and regurgitating back what the person said to you so that you let them know that you acknowledge them you heard what they said and you're gonna do your very best to get them happy again.
All right, so let's move on to number two. Number two, no jargon, no abbreviations, none of that. You keep that to yourself, okay, mine? Keep that to yourself. It's very important. Guys, girls, just no. No, just no. Don't even do it. Listen. Have you ever watched Charlie Brown or the Peanuts Gang and the teacher that goes wah 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 wah? That is what you sound like to people that don't speak our language. All right. Just like a lawyer speaks legalese, and you would probably just be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right you would swear they're speaking mandarin or something don't do it just leave the abbreviations leave the jargon in the appropriate environment all right now if you were around like a bunch of techies right like say you are working on a computer or you're working on an atm or some kind of you know you're an engineer whatever then 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 i can see how it's okay for you to speak jargon if they are your customers right that makes sense it's okay they understand you might be on the same page but when it comes to everyday average joe and jane juan and juana they don't know what you're talking about man you can't just go for example person has a computer issue and you're over here telling them Oh, well, the problem is, you know, your GPU is probably overheating. So we're going to have to, you know, put some uh, Arctic silver on that thing. Word of advice, don't put Arctic silver on GPUs. They don't go on there. GPUs means graphics cards. You see what I just did there? You can't do it. I'm pretty sure I lost most of you people out there like what is he talking what is a GPU like what is that exactly just like a mechanic won't tell you stuff about starters and alternators and fuel injectors and all that stuff to somebody that doesn't work they they came to you because they don't know this stuff so obviously you speaking all this mumbo jumbo is just gonna make them like dude just please fix my problem I don't know what you're talking about there's a reason why I came to you just remember that just keep the jargon to a zilch zero nada nothing now I will say this as a technician what I do do is because I love what I do and I love technology of all sorts I do love educating my customers I really really love talking my jargon but I do so in a way that is relevant to the situation so for example if I'm working at, like, say, one of the banking equipments that I work on, um, I'll let a customer know, like, oh, yeah, well, you know, this piece of equipment does this and this and that, and this part right here is called this, but you don't really need to know that. I just wanted to let you know what it was called. That right there is an appropriate way to handle if you really, really need to get a jargon out there because you're a geek or a nerd, right? And you just feel like you have to, that is the appropriate way of handling it. You don't just start bombarding people with abbreviations and acronyms and just word spaghettis, man, because it just does you no good. They're not gonna know what the heck you're talking about. So keep the jargon down to a zero, all right? And that is it, Don't, don't just don't do it, don't do it. Let's move on to the last one, number three. Number three. Guys, girls, don't forget. Please don't forget this very important part. You're a customer too. Empathize with your fellow man and woman and life will be A-OK. -okay. I promise you. It'll go smoothly. Guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, señoras y señores, damas y caballeros. We're not robots, all right? Human beings, we are not robots. You have to remember to empathize with your fellow human being. 
I know that the reg, you know, the the daily grind, the nine to five, or the overtime, or just the work weekends, or the on calls, and I get it. Trust me, I get it. I go through it as well. It's frustrating. It gets tiring, and sometimes you just get lost in the grind, right? But you have to remember that on your on your daily on your daily duties, all right. We're all human beings and you're interacting with human beings, all right? You may feel like a cog in the wheel. You may be having your ups and your downs. You may not be into it. Just remember that the people that you're servicing, that you're helping, they are people, they're human beings, just like you, just like me. You can't go and take out your frustration on the customer or the person because they don't know what you know they called you for a reason you're there because they asked you to be there because they don't know how to solve that problem do you think they would call you if they did know how to solve that problem absolutely not so I can't tell you how frustrating it is to go behind a technician and go to a customer that was so frustrated with the technician before me and I have to sit there and play politics play public relations play priest play you know cry on the shoulder you know I have to do damage control like my job becomes astronomically harder because most technicians don't know how to empathize with people because they're just there to just turn tools or fix a problem or sometimes make it worse, right? You have to remember that yes, they're frustrated, the customers are frustrated just as much as you are, but they're frustrated because their thing isn't working, right? Or it's not acting correctly, whatever the case may be. But you cannot be frustrated with them over their frustration of something that they called you over uh, for to help them with because they don't know how to solve the issue themselves. So what you need to do is do what I do. When I go to a customer and they're frustrated with the machine, like this thing is just not dispensing money or my computer's not connecting to the internet or I can't connect to the printer, whatever it is, I always approach it like this. Like, oh man, that is, that's lame. Oh man, I'm sorry you're going through this. I'm empathizing, right? I'm showing them that I'm just as frustrated as they are about this situation um, than they are, right? So, or, I'm, I'm there with them. We're, we're, we're in it together. But don't fear because I'm here. I'm here to save the day hopefully and I do say that stuff like I literally do say that stuff to customers like I will go show up and they're like oh this machine's not dispensing money I'm like man that's lame I'm sorry oh yeah it's been down for so long like we've been trying to do this and do that and it's just not working and it's like all right well what have you done talk to me tell me what you've done this is literally how I talk to people all right what have you done give me the steps that you that you've done even if they even if they told you everything that they've done has not worked, right? The fact that you're allowing them that time to vent and not in like a frustrating way, because now it's no longer a frustration. Now it's more of a getting it off their shoulder, but in a more controlled and relaxed manner, because now you're listening, right? You're listening. And then you didn't approach them with an attitude or giving them jargon from the start oh well that's because you know your router is probably the ip address and you know graphic like all that nonsense no you approach people as human beings because you're a human being too and don't forget that you're a customer too so how would you want to be spoken to if you were in their shoes right so you always have to make sure that you empathize with people that's very important
It's very, very, very important that you empathize with people because it will make your life easy, their life much better. And guess what? At the end of the day, when you solve, even if you don't solve that person's problem, the fact that you were able to deflate the, uh, the situation, calm them down from like a 10, maybe to like a six, maybe possibly even a five, you can get them down to even a two. Now they become more understanding. And even though you didn't fix their problem, you fixed one major problem, which was the human aspect of it. So keep that in mind. It's very important. I'm speaking to you from experience and I'm speaking to you as a customer as well, because we're all customers. And at the end of the day, it's very, very important that we love one another and that we respect each other and that we listen to each other. I know we're human beings. We have our days, we have our weeks, we have our months, we have our moments. We're back and forth, side to side, up and down. But at the end of the day, we're all in this together. We're on a big old rock that's just spinning in the soul sucking darkness of outer space. And we're on this spaceship called planet Earth. We have cool technology. It doesn't always work. Even rockets, multi-billion dollar rockets fail. All right, hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment fail. Okay, it's just life, right? But at least we have each other. And at least we know how to speak to one another and interact with each other and we know that we can interact in a more positive way towards one another to make this thing we call life go much more smoother. All right, that's what I got for you guys. Those are my top three. Like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Guys, girls, warriorines, warriorinas, I will see y'all when, when will I see y'all? Oh, that's right. I'll see y'all on Sunday with my next video when it drops. Part 3 of FPS Fun Puzzle Shooter. Alright. So I'll see y'all there 6 a.m. on Sunday. That's when it'll drop. I'll see y'all next time. Dos.